Hello, and I think we are actually live. We're so super excited about this. Hopefully you can all see and hear me okay. And I have two amazing guests, which I will introduce shortly. So for those of you that are probably maybe new to my page and some of my other followers, you'll notice I've not been live on my personal profile for quite a while, which doesn't mean I haven't been live anywhere else, just not here. So today we are launching, Grace and I, our client spotlight series. And what we wanted to do is shine the spotlight and client we've worked with past we, um, at present as well so you guys can see that some of the work we do and hear about some of the amazing stuff the ladies in our campaigners are doing because you need to know about it if you don't so so super excited i see we've got some people jumping on unfortunately with Streamyard, i can't always see who is on and let me give it permission but please do interact put your comments below i can see the comments and please don't be offended if i refer to you as user xyz i will go after and look and address you personally but i want you to get involved in this conversation because it's going to be so super fun i see we've got people jumping on and usha and lena they are like you know grace and our dynamic duo these two are <laughs> dynamic duo so we're gonna have a real good ball we're gonna have such super fun and as i said this is the launch of our client spotlight series so it's gonna be extra special so ladies a massive welcome usha and lena how are you <laughs> <laughs> we're good, we're, we're good. Both, How are okay. you? Uh, one dynamic duo to another dynamic duo. Exactly. Great to mention that. <laughs> it's true. We, we're just passing the bat, and I can see we're getting lots of people jumping on. Please do say oh. hello and where you're watching from, and I will try and look at my other device. But as I said to you, I can't always see who's jumping on just because of StreamYard unless you allow access. But get involved. Tell us where you're watching from, and do you have a business also as well? Do you drop that in the yes. comments to know? As we're going to be talking to the lovely Usha and Lena. You're going to be hearing a bit about what they do, how Usha pivoted her business online. She's an established parent coach for years and years, but she decided now was the time to really bring her business online. What they've done, they've done some amazing stuff and they are continuing to do some really great stuff out there and it's particularly applicable for all the parents as well and even if you're not a parent those of you that may be interact with children grandparents aunties uncles stay tuned because we've got some good stuff we're going to share today so i'm super excited drop a one in the comments if you're excited to hear what we're going to be sharing about and let's get rolling so ladies please share with us what you do and also what's the relationship between both of you well, if you haven't noticed already, <laughs> no, mother, mother, daughter. All right. So I'm Ushi Chudasama and I'm a child and adult psychotherapist and parent coach. And I've got two businesses, actually. One is a Healing Feeling and the other one is Parent Your Happy Child. Yeah. And I am Lena Chudasama. Um, in my day job, I'm a sales enablement lead, um, which basically means that I train salespeople. Um, and then on the side, I work with mum um, on her businesses. So I help with the more like techie side of things or the social media, the marketing um, and that kind of thing. So we've been working together with with Charlotte and Grace as well. Yeah. So this is why it's so special. I love that you are both working together. So as for mother and daughter, I mean, how many of us would dream? Yeah, I think that's an absolute testament to your relationship and also testament to what you do as well, because I know certain mother and daughters, they'd be actually strangling each other. Whether you do, I it well. <laughs> yeah, you have got such a great relationship and um, what I think works really well alongside what Grace and I do is that you play to each other's strengths and weaknesses so as Usha said she picks up what she does the tech the social media um, and Usha sorry Lena and then Usha comes in and she delivers the content expertise as well so it's such a great union and I think those of you that are jumping on it's really important when you're building and growing your business you understand what is your strengths, what is your weaknesses, so that you can bring in a team and those around you. You may not be lucky enough to have your daughter, but you bring in that expertise to really amp up your business and you can deliver in your, your zone of genius. So ladies, let's go back a bit behind the scenes uh, for when you started to work with Grace and I. What made you decide to hire a coach? Well, um, <laughs> well, we wanted to build an online business okay mm -hmm. so everything I'm doing at the moment so this is I'm in my therapy room at the moment so I was doing a lot of one-to-one -one work and I love what I do 
um, but it wasn't actually scalable. So we thought that, because I've, I've written a book, so I didn't say I'm, I'm the author of that book. And um, what I wanted to do was actually get this book up online so that more parents can access it and do the course and um, get benefit from it. So you want to turn the content into an online course, essentially. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, that's why we decided to hire a coach because um, <laughs> we we had written a little bit of content, but we just mm -hmm. didn't know how to get it online, to be honest. And yeah. accountability was a big thing because um, both of us are busy. We're both busy in our own, you know, in our own spheres of life. But we needed to do this together, come together. And we were just finding it really hard to navigate everything, really. Do you yeah. want to add something to that? Yeah, I mean, we had had this idea to do an online course. Like, the book's a bestseller, by the way. Mum won't say that. But... <laughs> yeah, we got to applaud that, which is why the course is so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So, like, we had the idea to turn it into an online course, like, probably a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, now, we kept thinking, oh, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. But, like, until you have a coach, you're not really going to actually pin down, like, a deadline and be like, right, I'm going to do it by this time or how to do it. And I think getting a coach, getting Charlotte and Grace really helped us to, you know, put it all into place. And actually, at the end, we were like, OK, we've actually got a course online. Yeah. So that's the reason we got a coach, just to, for the accountability and to actually realise the um, the product we wanted to produce. Yeah. And for a long time, we tried to do things ourselves and just. We were getting nowhere, really, to be yeah. fair. So we had to find some experts that uh, could support us who's already done it, you know, been there and done it. And uh, I have been following you and Grace for a little while. And I just thought, you know, no, let's let's call them. Yeah. And thank you as well. And again, there's two lessons there for those of you listening. It's be consistent, be online. When your clients and customers are ready, they'll come to you because you've kept front of mind. But also yeah. more importantly, I think what's really um true that we want to touch upon now is that accountability so you're you're expert in what you did you had a bestseller book like you knew literally what you needed to do but sometimes we just need someone to bring out that loving whip which we did bring out sometimes didn't we ladies um <laughs> you just need someone to do that to keep you accountable so that we don't stray away and the outcome of what you guys have got is something so amazing that is part of the whole legacy you're building for families. So just wanted to touch upon that. Sometimes we try and do it all ourselves, but we don't have to. We can quicken the journey. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So what, go ahead, darling. Go ahead, Isha. No, I was going to say that, you know, that that uh, that whip you talked about was actually yeah. very kind. Uh, I just want listeners to know that actually when you worked with us, you did give us, um, you did make us come up with time timelines and everything and we yeah. uh we um live up to that and we actually managed to do that and when we couldn't or didn't then you were very kind in um <laughs> kind and challenging let's just say in um kicking our butt really <laughs> if that's <laughs> <the> love <laughs> yeah of course and that's what we were what we wanted Definitely. So what I'd love to go touch upon now is if you could share a bit about the process. So what did it take for you to actually get this course and make it something that people could actually purchase, the whole launch process? Share a bit about your process, just for those who maybe have been thinking about doing something similar for years, just as you were, and wanted to understand a bit behind the scenes. So what does it really take? What is the process that you guys went through, um, guided by Grace and I? That would be great. Yeah, so I guess before we even started working with you, we were thinking about, okay, what do you want the course to be? So you have to first think, okay, what is the goal of the course? Mm. And you helped us to crystallise that. So we thought, okay, we want to help parents, but um, but like how specifically? And then you helped us to think, okay, you've got to ask your audience, like, what do they want? Um, which I guess we hadn't specifically thought to do. Because I remember that uh, in the beginning, I was too scared to go on social. I mean, she's the... Uh, techie person so I was a little bit scared to go online and ask the questions and um yeah that that became part of our goals as well so where we wanted the bigger goals there were lots of little goals to also master and learn skills along the way 
Yeah, so that was the first part of the process is to think about what do we actually want to get. So then we had to do more research and figure out that or make sure that what we were doing was going to actually help the target audience because that's mm -hmm. obviously going to help you to sell a course later because it's actually yeah. answering what they need. Yeah. Um, then we began to build out like, okay, what modules do we want to do based on that research? But can and, I just say, sorry to yeah. interrupt, but the module, <laughs> it was um it was you charlotte that actually helped us to work out what kind of things see i'm a i'm, I'm a teacher right so i'm good at planning anyway i i do know how to uh, break things down and plan it in a way that the children are going to understand it however this was different yeah. and i think uh, the perception uh, or this perspective has to be different where where i as a teacher i'm planning from my perspective and what i'm going to give the children um this perspective has to be what do they want so you have to yeah. create it you have to reverse engineer it yeah and that that's a hard concept you know if you're not used to it that's a really difficult concept which i think you helped us with and you gave us um examples and i think that that's really important because sometimes coaches what they do is they say this is what you need to do mm -hmm. and if you've never done something you don't know how to do it you know yeah. and you did help us you said okay this is what you need to do these are some examples this yeah. is the kind of thing have a look at and you gave us homework to do yeah. um, which actually expanded our understanding our um horizons it actually helped us to hone in on what kind of things we need to do um, yeah, so, yeah. you know some of the copy for example the copywriting um and the and the uh posts that we need to do we, yeah there, there's a there's a formula isn't there <laughs> there is and i think what happens is a lot of the time particularly if we had businesses offline and I know myself i did when we go online we think we can use the same principles but it's a yeah. completely different dynamic and one of the big things that saved you so much time and why you was able to create this in the container at the time that we worked together compared to trying to do this yourself, um, you know, opposite in years, is because you went out there and you spoke to your audience. I remember at first she was a bit resistant. I was like, no, you've got to find out what, what do they want? Because sometimes we come to the perspective of what we want. But there's no point, the product won't sell if it's just for us. We need to solve that problem. And that really switched the game for you guys. And you was able to see, and then even the copy that you put out there, you was able to use the words of your ideal client and customer. So it began to resonate much more. And you guys, your confidence just really soared as you started to really up level your visibility to the point now, I see you guys all the time. And you're just like, yeah, online doing the thing it's, amazing. it's thanks to you that we've built that confidence actually because um I, I think like you said you know the more you do something the more confidence yeah. you you get mm. and um sorry in lena go on carry on with the process <laughs> <laughs> so i mean go back to the process a... um yeah so i mean as mum said you gave us lots of tools so mm -hmm. one important thing was like how do you actually plan like the modules and then split them mm -hmm smaller and smaller to make sure that you um, that each one has got like a goal of what you actually want to to kind of tell the parent and make it really one simple thing in each part mm -hmm. um, and I guess sometimes you can overcomplicate it but you gave us a structure which we followed to make it really clear yeah. um, and then once yeah so then <laughs> once we had like the plan of the actual content we could start creating it and then alongside we had a kind of plan with you on how we would begin to kind of tell people about it and what kind of posts we would do and then getting like the website done and all the back end yeah. stuff. Um, so it is a process. There's a lot of different things involved actually, but I think having coach and when you, you guys have got your own online courses, so you could tell us from your own experience yeah. and, um, Definitely. and to take us through like bit by bit yeah i mean obviously lena's better at the the techie stuff and yeah. and the, <laughs> you you kind of um helped from that from the perspective uh, knowing that we both have different strengths because yeah. when you're coaching someone you you're just working with one person yeah. and your adaptability of working with two people with two people it's a different dynamic and i think yeah. that's that's something to uh, that's uh, that's a real commendable thing that you guys helped us with um, to work with two different <laughs> mindsets. <laughs> it was amazing, and I think 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, and that plays a big part. So I think really understanding, for those of you that may be newer coaches, understanding your client's strengths and weaknesses so you can adhere and build a plan that's going to really help them play to it. And actually, we had a ball, as I said, like working with coaches, it was so good, you know, which which cast is going to get divvied up, even before you guys decided to divvy up. We knew which way it was going. But it was so super fun, and I think you have just really embodied everything you've learned. I mean, Lena, now you're a tech guru. I like, I'm going to, be, we're coming you for our answers. I've seen <laughs> questions in the group, like your father I think absolutely amazing. And as I said, you guys have um we're gonna go on to talk about what you're doing now, but you've really like have nurtured and grown you before you launch actually uh, this is really good. I want something everyone to know that before launch you pre sold spots because you felt like you did the work. A lot of people were coming to coaching container. You guys was even if sometimes the time deadlines was about space, you guys was committed to the process, getting it up for launch, and you did the work and therefore you got the results. So even before your main launch, if you went you pre-sold spots, which was absolutely amazing. I know that helped with the confidence and you've brought a whole cohort through now and you're now getting ready to develop more and you've used that feedback and you're making it even better. So it's just been so, so great. Is there anything more you want to share like on your results as well and what you've learned from your process? Yeah, from the results and the process. So um, in terms of the, re uh, the process, I think that I, I still want to add that I really love both of you and <laughs> <laughs> I do get a bit lovey-dovey but what I want to is that you know you you've got a, a separate um group you know mm -hmm. so even though technically we finished working with you yeah. it's still you kind of go over and above because you've you've got that group and if I or Lena have any questions and uh, we ask you you always come back and you're not resentful about the fact that we've stopped working with you you still want to give us answers and, and that is that is what I call you know commitment and a, a long-term relationship I love that so yeah thank and you. we love we love you guys and that's the thing with Grace and I if you come into our world so we hope that you love us because you're going to be stuck with us we're your cheerleaders <laughs> <laughs> at some point so we come in you stay in our world and what's great a lot of our clients they would stay even if they finished and we want to see you win and we're there and at another point if something you have that you need so it's that that kind of relationship that i would want anyone who's here to think about starting a business how can you go over and beyond and deliver and really wow and i think maybe you've taken that lesson because you said your new round that you're doing you've put tweaks and features into it so it's just a domino effect and yeah. taking on to that we'd love to know what you guys are working on now you have something super special to my heart which we just talked about share with the viewers what are you guys working on now yeah so we're working on a campaign at the moment it's a free campaign and it's not for our benefit it's mainly for parents benefit um the idea came because uh i a mental health professional in our profession we are anticipating a rise in mental health cases in the next year five years ten years okay i've already started seeing a lot more um children and, and this is due to parents. the pandemic and lockdown that's why it's kind of yeah. right now yeah so it's because what they're saying is that because of lockdown a lot of, as as we know I'm, I'm not telling you anything new but parents children have gone through a lot of stress um you know even though you can get on with it there's been a lot of underlying stress and if we are able if we if we don't look at the the smaller symptoms that they're showing now what could happen is that those symptoms can lay buried and they don't show up until at least 10 years this is what research tells us yeah. so imagine if your child was 10 years old today they might be 20 years old before they get any support mm -hmm. or they're asking for support. And by the age of 20, you know, they're, they're going through a life transition. They're going to university. They might not want to get the help. Parents not, might not be in a position to. So what the Legacy Now campaign is all about is leaving a legacy now. Yes. And the legacy isn't about um, leaving money or inheritance. It's about values. So what, as parents, what I'm what I'm saying is that by creating some positive memories, what we're doing is saying that, because uh, when kids look back at this time, 
we want them to have a positive outlook because those resources inside will um, help them in life later on. And that's what the campaign is about. So Lena can tell you a little bit more how it works. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's, as we said, it's called Legacy Now. And what we're doing is encouraging people to spend 15 minutes of quality time with their child yeah. um, in order to just play and have fun and uh, build that relationship. Um, as a small step that you can do, that's really easy to do to prevent this mental health crisis that is predicted. Yeah. Um, there's to get involved. You just have three steps. Three steps. Uh, yeah. Firstly, download, uh, play, and share. So we'll share a link in the comments afterwards um, where you can find out more. And we have a campaign pack you can download. It's got 24 ideas of It's different... a really good pack, by the way. <laughs> it <laughs> is. I testify to that. It really yeah. is. It's so good. <laughs> you say you have no ideas. There's ideas there. Thank yeah, you. exactly. So then, then step two is play. So just play with your child. Do one of those activities or anything else that you like to do. Yeah. And take a picture while you're doing it. And then step three is to post that picture to social media. Use the hashtag Legacy Now. Yeah. And also tag us. You can get us on um, Instagram at Parent Your Happy Child and Facebook. Our page is called Parent Your Happy Child as well, um, mm -hmm. so that we can see them and share them. And we basically just want to spread this message as far and wide as we can. Yeah, we've been doing Facebook lives from the first of yeah. September every and single Insta day lives well. and Insta lives um, with different activities and why those activities are actually um, good. You know yeah. why we benefit you from a mental health perspective so they're not just like like yeah like today we talked about painting yesterday was about yeah. later uh, but we were talking about why those activities are good um to support your child's mental health so if anyone's not seen them go go and look please and um support it Definitely. Um, and everyone, I can see a lot of people jumping on. So those of you jumping on, apologies, I cannot see the names, but if you've got questions, drop them in. Myself, yeah. and Lena will go back as well. We'll post the um, hashtag and the links that you can follow it as well. And if you've got even any questions about the business, the process, how these guys done it, again, please drop them and we will go back. It's just dream yards a little bit difficult to navigate the comments if you've not given prior permission. But we're really excited to have all of you guys on. We're loving it. So please do still get involved as well. And also let us know what has you learned so far during this interview and what we've talked about. Um, have you even, even, it, with regards to that campaign, if you thought about um, extending your quality time, so to speak, since lockdown's finished, just would love to know and keep on getting involved with the conversation. Great having you guys here. So, Lena, was there something you was going to add as well? Yeah, I mean, since um, since we've done this Legacy Now campaign, it's only been, what, two and a half weeks? Yeah. Um, but we've already had lots of parents kind of saying... Um, how they're having a lot of challenges actually like now lockdown is easing yeah. and they're starting to go back to school most kids yeah. um it kind of presents other challenges and so what we're thinking of doing well what we are going to do soon is to launch a parent coaching program yeah. um specifically because people have these needs mm. so do you want to say a bit more about what's going to be in that program um Mm, okay, a little <laughs> exclusive, <laughs> exclusive because we are still uh, working on the back end yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, but it's nearly done. It's it is kind of done. So what it will be, it'll be a group program. Uh, there'll be a Facebook group, and there'll be a, it'll be a twenty one day um, coaching, uh, parent yeah. coaching because at the moment this. Um, there is still anxiety. Uh, parents yeah. are finding it hard. This is what the feedback I'm getting. Parents yeah. are finding it hard to, um, well, what they're saying, okay, what they're saying is that globally everything has changed, okay? Yeah. And now that the kids are going back to school, it's almost like they have to develop a relationship again with their children because yeah. everything's different. They've, they've grown up, we've grown up, um, yeah. and that whole navigating is different, but also um, I'm, I've recently started to get individual parent coaching yeah. uh, clients because they are finding that that their children are so angry, really yeah. angry, and they don't know 
what to do about that. They, they're finding that they are um, challenging in school. You know, they yeah. have a lot of behavior problems. Um, some are withdrawing. So they're actually starting to, uh, there's a lot of self-harm, unfortunately, going on. Yeah. And um, anxiety is uh, underlying all of that. Mm -hmm. So the course is all about helping parents to navigate through this, this uncertain time. It's an uncertain territory. Yeah. Unfortunately, people are saying, yeah, but we just get on with it. What, you know, there's nothing. What, what can? What else can you do? Because um, everyone's well, do. Everyone's got the problem. Can, they can come to you. That's what else. For those parents that perhaps are finding it difficult, they can come to someone with expertise like yourself and prevent future long-term problems Absolutely. as well. So this is the beauty about the work you do, and you're, you guys are so passionate as well. So we will ensure that the links are there. I know the course isn't quite ready, but so that they can come to you, at least put the name on the waiting list if anyone is interested as well and um, yeah. follow this Legacy Now campaign until you're ready for launch as well. Yeah. But one thing I want to say here, actually, guys, you guys went from not wanting to be too visible doing Facebook Lives. Now you're doing lives every single day for like six, eight weeks. Hello, the transformation. <laughs> and I wonder where that came from. <laughs> it's just, it is mind blowing to just see and do this massive social online um, social media campaign as well, and the course, the second course you're creating. So the transformation has been mind blowing, and you're just going, you're just stepping on to your next level, and going out and creating the impact. Do you know what, Charlotte? Shall I, shall I be honest? I mean, yeah. when we were, so this year we yeah. were just, um, because we hadn't created the course, right? Yeah. It felt like it wasn't, it wasn't out there and it was just in here, okay? Yeah. So once we got it done, we, yeah. I got really excited. I thought, oh, okay, we were selling it now and we've got parents on our, uh, on our books and um, we're actually interacting with, and it became real. Yeah. yeah, and so, this right. was the reason I went into this profession, and I was just yeah. so passionate. I'm still so passionate about working with kids and preventative. It's the preventative work that I really yeah. enjoy. Um, yeah. the, the mental health work, obviously, I do enjoy it because I see the transformation. But yeah. what I my whole thing is about, you know, preventing the mental health issues happening, so that you know when when kids grow up. Remember, these kids are going to be running the country. Yeah. So we want to have kids that are mentally, mentally um, healthy. Yeah. Healthy, you know? Yeah. And um, and then they could grow up because there'll be parents one day and then they have a positive mindset thing. and that will change the, gener you know, eventually change the generational shift uh, yeah. to a more positive one, you know? That's um, absolutely true. So it's that's made me just so passionate about doing it even more and i'm just thinking what an amazing medium why aren't we using it <laughs> and i basically i think what's basically happened is that we're getting out of our way yeah and just doing what's needed <laughs> and I, th I think that's a big point i'd like everyone to listen in to take that away once you shift out of the way and also you get aligned to a purpose that's bigger than you because this has a massive domino effect with the work that you're doing. All those fears and those niggling doubts that come, oh, maybe I shouldn't get present online. Maybe if I do this, no one will buy. All of that stuff that comes with fields in a business starts yeah. to become irrelevant. And because you're so aligned with the bigger purpose and you'll go out, you'll show up and you'll do what you need to do in order for those that need to hear more about yeah. it. So thank you so much. As we close, because I'm just conscious of time, I would yeah. love for you to just share, if anyone is a bit curious about what it's like to work with Grace and I, please share um, what was your experience. That'd be great. I mean, be, but don't be too harsh. <laughs> <laughs> was that how to work with you? Yeah, how, how it was working with Grace and I in the process of you guys getting this to fruition and what you're doing now, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, we had loads of fun. I mean, we yeah. worked together for what three, three, four months or so. Yeah. Um, yeah, like we'd chat every week and we'd get lots of encouragement from you, even in between. Um, and anytime we had a question, you guys, like Mum said, you were happy always to there. to always answer. You went over and above. And um, yeah, I mean, it was really fun. So I think you know, you don't want to go into business and it's like boring. So no. you want to have fun at the same time. And uh, yeah. yeah, it was great. You uh, and, and Grace as well. Absolutely. Both of you. I would say that um, 
uh, your flexibility, I think, was really um, unique, you know, in your approach, because obviously we'd gone through the pandemic yeah. and suddenly, because we were supposed to finish, I think, in March, and yeah. then suddenly there was this pandemic and we hadn't quite finished and we were, was we weren't sure what's going on. And so yeah. your flexibility in allowing us to, like, it's not, well, it wasn't an extension, it was just yeah. being uh, flexible, I think. Yeah. Um, which I think helped us to tide tide us over to understand what the process, you know, to, to actually online looked like. So, um, yeah, we like us like Lena said, you know, we really had fun and the relationship continues, and that's yeah. the value of it. It's continuing. Always. Yeah, and I like that. I really do because I yeah. think I, I mean I've I've had. I'm not going to name any names, but we be with coaches where you know it, it. You have your three months, and then that's it. You know, you don't hear from them. But with you, it's been. Um, well, actually, with another one who. Um, anyway. <laughs> Basically, you guys, right? I do go off on a tangent now and again. You're in our world. For, for those of you that are watching and perhaps a bit curious about what it's like to work with Grace and I, Grace will drop the link um, and you can fill out application form and can see if it's the right fit. So that's there as well. Ladies, yeah. I want you to tell everyone that's watching because of all the fantastic work, they can get involved with Legacy now. They can find out more about your course. How can they, where can they find you? What's the best places? Um, yeah, absolutely. If you go to parentyourhappychild.com, you will see um, a link to the Legacy Now campaign and you can find out everything about us, uh, mostly about mum, but yeah, I know the background. Um, and you can download a free ebook as well. Yeah, we've got a free ebook about how to get your child to listen to you, which is uh, very topical. And um, yeah, and then the social, so on Facebook, we're Parent Your Happy Child, that's the page. On Instagram, we're at Parent Your Happy Child. Twitter's at Usha Tudor Sama. Um, so yeah, follow us and uh, yeah, the main website is parentyourhappychild.com. Amazing. And I'm just going to drop in if you want to purchase the number or the best selling book as well. They can get that on Amazon as well as your website as well, can't they? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. they can get that from Amazon and all the websites. Yes. So I. <laughs> I just want to say we had a ball working with you. Um, we're so happy to still have you in our world. See you guys just going on to make massive impact <laughs> and influence and prevent things happening years down the line with our future yeah. generation, which is so important. So I want to say thank you for the work you do. Thank you for being excellent clients, showing up and doing the work and creating amazing results and do it going through our method, which is usually think, you create, and then you initiate. You guys followed our method to a T. You had something in your mind, and then you initiated it, you brought it to fruition, and you're bringing it onto a whole new level. So thank you so much for joining us and all that you do. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being amazing coaches. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, darling. All right. Take care, everyone that's joined us. Thank you. Grace will be on next week with another one of our amazing clients. So keep on following us on both our personal pages and be part of the conversation. Again, if you're curious, have a look at the application link and we can have a conversation. Keep on going out there, showing up, being amazing. And if you have an idea, there's no time like the present. Absolutely. If anyone's thinking about it, sign up. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.